you guys are looking for a fast, cheap, and reliable coin service, check out ufifa.com in the description down below. If you're looking for coins, you can pick them up for around £7.50 per 100k if you use discount code KURT5 for 5% off. So check out the link down below and enjoy the video. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new episode of Overpriced vs Affordable. Today we have the Legend Zola up against Giuseppe Rossi. Now, uh, this is actually the first Legend that I managed to get my hands on this year. I recorded these clips about a week ago, so I was really looking forward to playing with them. As always, we're going to be looking at their prices, some ratings, and getting on some gameplay before giving our opinion. So before we get stuck into it, I do want to say, if we could hit 400 likes this video, guys, that would be absolutely amazing. You guys have shown insane uh, support on the previous episodes, so that would be great. Also, if it's your first time around here, drop a subscribe, that would be amazing. So, as you'll see on the screen, at the time of recording, you can pick up a Zola for around 585k, whereas Giuseppe Rossi is around 1.5k on the PS on the Xbox even. Uh, obviously, these are both Xbox ones because Zola uh, is Xbox exclusive. Now, in terms of the ratings, this is really going to shock you. I've given Zola a quality of 3 star and a value for money of 2 star. Rossi a quality of 4 star and a value for money of 4 star. Now, um, I am going to explain this as we go throughout the gameplay and it may shock you, it certainly shocked me. So, I was so excited to use Gianfranco Zola. I thought he was going to be great. He has amazing dribbling, great ball control and all that great stuff. And also, he's really rapid with some decent finishing. Now... One of the uh, the main problems with me, uh, I felt obviously uh, Rossi has the exact same problem, but uh, the number one thing was that uh, it didn't seem to, he, well, he has no four-star skills, which was a big disappointment. His free kicks were great, I will give him that, but he has no four-star skills, which Ross Rossi doesn't also have. He also has the edge on Rossi with the fact he has four-star weak foot, but he has medium attacking work rate and medium defensive work rate, and I just felt like all the time he was never in a chance to score a goal. Without the four-star skills, I found it a little bit trickier just to create goals. Uh, chances with him when I had the ball at his feet. His ball control and dribbling did not both seem like 90 whatsoever. His acceleration was 88, great. His sprint speed was 82, not quite as good, but I expected it to be better. I rarely found him getting on the end of balls. His positioning just didn't seem to be what it should be. Finishing, I can't fault his finishing. Every time I got through uh, with him, I did actually seem to put the, uh, put the ball away, but I felt like there was li Zola rarely offered anything to the team. Like I said, he had the great free kicks, but honestly, that really felt like it was it. He was never in goal scoring opportunities. He can't score headers. It kind of always had to be put on a plate with him for him to have any chance to actually score. Whereas Giuseppe Rossi, you'll see multiple times here. I actually scored two goals from the kickoff with him. He was just so good at just crafting his own chance up. Uh, he'd just get in positions and just get the ball, and there was something about his dribbling. Now, he has 87 ball control and 83 dribbling, which is actually worse than Rossi's but there was just something so bizarre about him that he just seemed absolutely perfect now I do think his high attacking work rates uh, de medium defensive did help the fact he was further forward than uh, Zola would be a lot of the time that was very, very useful. But there was something uh, very, very strange about Zola. I honestly would not recommend picking him up whatsoever. Uh, I didn't enjoy his pace. I didn't enjoy his shooting. Uh, there was very, very little about him that I liked. Whereas Rossi actually just seemed like a solid little player. Now, you'll see here, literally straight from kickoff, uh, Rossi picked up the ball. And he just went straight at the other team. Just a couple little skills and I was through. So, uh, it was very, very strange. Hard to explain. But for, uh, for many multiple reasons, as I've mentioned in this video, Rossi definitely wins this episode. He has a mile over Zola. So, let me know down below guys who you would like to see in any future episodes. That would be awesome. Comment down below. Remember they are usually in the same league or the same nation uh, for these series. So, uh, so, comment down below who you'd like to see in future episodes. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to this channel if you're new around here. Have a nice day guys and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.